Hello, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a custom FTP uploader to ShareX so that you can use it to share screenshots with your own personal domain. To start off, go to Destinations, Destination Settings, we get this window pop up. Uh, under FTP uploaders, file uploaders, I mean, uh, click press FTP, you get this own dialog box. I've already got my own profile set up, but uh, press add if it's not empty but if it's empty just leave it like that uh, set a name for your account I can just put uploader or whatever you want it to be leave the protocol as FTP unless you want to add a key for SFTP or whatever your host would be under here so the shared IP address uh, and that would be here your username would be your user on the web server so mine is just that the password is what what you use to log into your web server. The port, uh, normally it's 21. I don't know if it's different for other people. It probably says it somewhere on your web server. The remote directory is uh, the folder after the home directory. So normally a web server, it's in the public HTML folder and then in a separate folder, which I've got imd, which is short for image, of course. For the URL path, you can specify if you want to use uh, a secure HTTPS connection. Here would be your uh, subdomain if you have one, which just reroutes it to the folder here. And then your normal direct uh, domain. You can tick off the uh, append the remote directory to make a cleaner link. You can press test here, and if it's connected, then you've done everything correctly. And just to test out the screenshots, press Control Print Screen. Make take a screenshot, copy into a new tab, and here it is in its full glory. Uh, just to make sure that it's actually appeared in the folder, you know, public HTML image. Uh, reload it, and it's here. View, and tada! Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more of this type of content. Goodbye.